Hi, welcome back to Database and Development and Design. Uh, this is week four. This is our Lab 3 work for, walkthrough, and this will be Lab will be focusing on forms. Forms are a very unique access thing. What they are is their access is, uh, access is mini uh, version of uh, a user interface. So uh, in more advanced stuff like SQL Server and Oracle, you'd actually either write your own user interface using a, a programming language or you, there's some third-party systems you could put in place to make these. But in Access, we can use forms to interact with the database. That's what we're going to do. So for the lab, we're going to be using skill sets 1 through 10 and do skill 11. And that's going to require the use of the water file and the employee. So if you go ahead and look in your files, uh, under chapter 3, you've got the employee file. You're going to need that one, and you're going to need this water file. And again, if you just click on the three dots, you can download the files you need. And once you've downloaded it, you can just open it up, and it'll bring you to access. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Now, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to save the file with last name first and water. You don't want to do that. Just go to File. File and Save As. Okay? Uh, I've already done it. As you can see, I named it last name. You're going to put your actual last name in first so I can newspaper I'm grading. Uh, as you can see, we have two tables and a query. But we're going to start with the forms. So we're going to go up here. This is Skill 1. Skill one, create a form using a wizard. Okay, here we go. So, go up to create on the menu bar. On the ribbon, look over for forms and hit the form wizard here. Okay, the form wizard's going to pop up. And if you get any warning, A, you know, just hit enable, you're fine. That's just, you know, this is clean data, so we know we can work with it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick the table we want. So, we're going to drop down to water bills. And you'll see the fields now change to show what fields are available in the table. Uh, we're going to bring these fields over. You could just double click on a field. You could use the arrow. Or you can use the arrow and bring everything over. And since we want everything but audited, just go ahead and go to, down to audited, the last one, and just hit this arrow over here to bring it back. Go to hit next. Columnar is what we want. That's fine. And then we're going to name the form. We'll just call this Water Bills Form. And then open the form when we're done. Go ahead and hit finish. And there is the form created. Now, you can see what the form is. It's a form look at this table here, which is your water bill. So you can see it's just getting the data from there. So we're looking at the first one. You can see the account number, the, the rate's 23 cents, the usage is 73. So we can see that right here. <coughs> so that's all it's doing is getting this information from the table. It's just in a more human user friendly method. Okay, so let's go ahead on to skill two. Skill two is modifying data using forms. Okay, let's go ahead and look back into the forms now. First, first thing it wants us to do is go ahead and learn how to navigate through the forms. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use move the screen around a little bit so you can see this. But if we go down now, you're going to notice here we've got a record indicator. And this says it's record one of 1,422. So if I go down here and I push next, it takes me to the next record. Now let me come back here and drag it back up. I'm sorry, i got to just drag and drop it all this dragging but you really can't see the screen otherwise it'd be an eye chart so here we are now we're on number two now if you go ahead and look here you notice this one's missing some information like paid date and amount but if we go ahead into the water bills and we look you'll see that's missing here from the form so what we're going to do is we're going to put some information in here so it wants us to put in 06 february what do they want 17. This, I, I don't like this date configuration, but hey, that's what they, it's a Microsoft thing. The amount paid, now watch, I'm going to put 1978, and once I hit enter, watch the amount due. The amount due comes out to zero because it subtracts that from that. It's a calculated field. So if we go back into the water bills now and look, actually, again, we have to refresh it. So let's go ahead and close this and reopen it. And now you'll see, oh, well, oh, hold on. I guess it didn't go across. One second. Okay, back to the form. Let's try maybe hitting enter here. Okay, now we're in three. We moved us over to number three. So now let's go back and look. And yes, it did fill in now. Okay, we just had to move over to the next file. Okay. Now let's go ahead. Now we've got, I want you to highlight this one right here, which is good. Billing ID is what we want to highlight. We're going to search now. We're going to go to home. 
We're going to go to the Find, which is the magnifying glass icon here. We're going to drag this up, and we are going to look for billing ID number 1352. So 1352. And we're going to hit Find Next. And you'll notice the form now switched over to that. So we can go ahead and close this out. And let's look down at the form. And let's go ahead and let's put in a date and let's pay this bill. So let's put in 12th of August 2018. And let's go ahead. The bill due is 3230. So let's go ahead and pay the bill. Say it was done. 3230. Enter. Enter, and there we're good, and moved on to the next bill, as you see. And now we're going to navigate down. Let's go down here, and we're going to pop down to the navigation bar and hit the this button right here. You'll see this takes you to the next record. This takes you to the last one. This one right here creates a brand new record, so we're going to hit that button for the new blank. And then we're going to scroll back up, and you'll see you got yourself a blank ID. Uh, now the book's got us putting this information in. You don't have to do it number for number. I don't really, I don't really care. But using the book's information, I'm going to put in a billing ID of one one, maybe. Okay, see, so I was trying to put into the billing ID. We don't want that. We want to go to the account ID. The billing ID is an automatic. So just click down here to the account ID, and then we're going to put in 1173-464-142. And again, you can put any number you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, they're putting 31 July 2018. Uh, rate 0.42 and usage 164 again use whatever you want it creates a billing for you already and that's set there uh, there you go okay and as again this would add a new that adds a new row or a new record to your table to begin with okay so let's go ahead Okay, now onto skill three, formatting our forms. Okay, so from here, we're going to go up to the Home tab, hit on View, and we're going to change this to Layout View. Go ahead and click that, and you'll see that should highlight that. Now we're in Layout View, and you're going to see some things over to the side here. Let me get go ahead and grab this. Now you see a change on the property sheet over here to your side. Now the property sheet can be open and closed going from, you have form, layout, and design. You'll see this property sheet button. So if I go ahead and hit that, it'll open and, it'll open and close my property sheet as I need it. All right, so let's go ahead. <laughs> go down here. We're going to bring this to the first record button. And then... We're going to come up here and we are going to click on the account number and that there we go should light up red yeah sorry yellow okay so from here with that still clicked on you're going to go up here to let me scroll get sorry let me grab this so you can see what's going on go to the menu I'm going to go up to format and going to go to font and we're going to click on the align right button which is this one right here so it tells everything to align right now watch the account number in the box it aligns to the right there you go so now they're all aligned to the right okay now let's go ahead we're going to click on billing id hold down the shift key and click on all the other boxes okay now you can let go of the shift key Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to slide this screen over so you can see here. So we've got that selected. We're going to go over now to the format button of your shift. And we're going to drag this out so we can see it a bit better. And I'm going to go to the width and I'm going to set this to 1.5. Okay. 
tab down it automatically put the inches on there for me so now when I go ahead and I look at my screen and I try to drag it back wrong screen there we go whoops now you should notice that all of your boxes are exact same width which is you know looks nice and uniform Okay, you'll notice we're in the Format tab now as we're working here. So in the Format tab, if you're not there already, click that. You're going to hit Select All. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to change the font. Let's go to Calibri, whatever. Okay. So there you go. You can change the font of everything right there. And you'll notice that the uh, it grabbed the title form too. So let's go ahead and click off the title form. Let's go select all again try that and see if we can get it to right hit select all again if I can hold on let me get why it's not lighting up let me try okay select all and then hitting, hold the control button down, click on the water form, that removes the water bills from that. And let's go ahead and change the size of our font to 12. Notice it does not affect <laughs> the title. Okay, moving on. Okay, next we're going to click on the, the title control here. So you see this orange box. Make sure you have that box up. Not shouldn't be, shouldn't be there, shouldn't be orange around here. It should be orange right here. Okay. So we're going to go down to Form, Layout, and Design up here, and we're going to hit the Logo button. Got the header, footer section here. Hit the Logo button. This will pop up, so we're going to down, go to the Downloads, which I just downloaded, and this will ACC Water logo. Okay, there it says City Hall. Now in the same thing, we're going to go hit the title, because we did the logo, we got the water bills forms. We're going to change this to monthly billing. Okay, now we're going to do some conditional formatting. So we're going to click on the amount due text box, not the actual box there. Okay, go for the format tab. And go ahead, control formatting group over here. Sorry, you got actually. I'm sorry. I meant to actually click on the text in here. The wording in the phrase was not good, so I heard text. I thought they meant the title, so we'll go click on this right here, and we're gonna go hit conditional formatting. Okay, and this is gonna bring up a conditional formatting rules thing. Gonna click <coughs> on a new rule. This pops up. We're gonna go to here, and we're gonna set this to less than. And then we're going to set it to less than zero. 
not O, zero, sorry. Okay, we're going to hit the bold button. Make sure this is set to red. And you get a preview of what you're going to see, this red thing right there. Okay, hit OK. Hit OK again. And let's, I'm going down, I'm hitting the last button on the uh, search at the bottom, if you want to go there again. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll put in a paid date of, I don't care, we'll just say, I forget what they said in the book, but I'm just going to put in any date, I'll just put in, it's, let's see. Uh, if you're getting this weird problem like this, what you got to do, sorry, you got to go out of here, get out of layout mode, and go back into form view. Okay, now we can enter it. Uh, bills due, so we'll just say 2nd of August, not that it really matters. We're going to put in here for the amount paid, $70. Okay, see what happens? It goes red because it, we paid more than was actually due. So that's what the conditional formatting did. So anytime you have a negative in the amount due, you'll get this. Notice the brackets around there, the parentheses. That's standard accounting. If you're in any accounting, you'll see that. That's a negative in accounting is to put brackets around something. All right, so that's good on that. It, if the book tells you to make take a snipping, I don't need a snippet of this. This is fine. Just Let's just close us all out. Yeah, you want to save changes. Yeah, save changes. Close this. And anytime, you know, obviously save as you go along with your book there. Now let's go ahead into database tools, relationships. You've got the two already here. Let's open them up so we can see them a bit better. Oops. So you can see our relationship between these two should be with this residence account number. So we're just going to go ahead and drag this over to link up there and get the edit relationship comes up here and we're going to enforce referential integrity. Okay. And your relationship type should now say one to many because there can only be one in the residence. A resident can only exist in one, you know, only one person can live in a house at a time, but they can have many bills, so one to many. Go ahead and create that, and we're just going to close this out. Save our changes, yes. Okay, so over here, we're going to select, as you can see them here, going to select the residence table, and then we're going to go up here to create. And we're going to create form. Click the form button. And you'll see what you get. So it's called a one-to-many form. Let's see if I can expand out for you a little bit here so you can see better. All right. So there you go. So you can see that we actually have, this is your residence and this is your billing. So they'll, you'll see all the bills attached to this resident. So as you go across to each resident, you'll see every bill they have. Okay, so this is a one-to-many form. Uh, the next steps in your book tell you to add another logo and stuff to the title. We've already done that once. I'm not wasting time. We're not doing that again, so just skip that. Okay, we're up to skill six now, tabular layouts. This is probably the last skill for this video. We'll start a second one after this. Okay, so going up to this table we made here, or this form, let's go ahead, click, right-click on it, go to layout view. You could also hit the views up here, obviously. And we're going to grab... All right, so click on the control here, get your mouse on here until you can see this here, this side to side. We're going to drag this all the way over until we line up with usage here. Uh, a little bit more so we can see all of usage. Ah, come on, you can do it. All right. You notice it kind of truncates a little of everything. Okay, now click on the account number control again. Make sure you got the yellow on there. Going to go up to a range. And now we're going to insert right. We're going to hit that twice. To one, two. Now we have two columns. Now watch. We're going to go down grab water meter and drag it up to the first column. 
Do the same thing with the control for it. Alright, we're going to grab this mic right here, and we're going to drag that over to this. We're going to change this to last slash first name. Okay, now go up to this one right here, click on first name. We're going to go back to the range again. Going to go select row. And now we're going to go here and right click and delete it. Delete row. So that's gone. We're going to grab the apartment up there. You can change this to street apartment. Do the same thing. I mean, it's just it's all we're doing. Uh, once you've done it once, you really don't need to repeat this. And you don't have to hit select row. You could just do right here, right click, and delete. All right. Okay. You could do the zip and phone if you want. I don't really, you know, not necessary. Okay. Go over here now. And we're going to go again. We're going to insert right one, two. And I'll grab this, highlight it all together. And we're going to go up here, and we're going to hit the Merge button to merge them all together. There you go. Then go to here. Got that selected, all that. Select them both so you have both these highlighted and hit Merge again. And then that'll merge out. Then everything will go across now, so that'll look nice and clean. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to stop now, and we'll pick up in the next video.